24 minutes in, 1-0 down. Thank you very much, Shulker, you absolute idiots. No, my God! And um, again, what a strike. Beautiful. Who's gonna have a, a long-term future and who's not? I hate this dude. You're an absolute waste, man. How's it going, people? I hope you're having a damn great day. Welcome back to the Shulker Career Mode, episode number six. Of course, starting things off, we have an offer here for Leo Schroeder. It is only a, a strict loan offer, a two-year loan offer. That's what they're proposing. Um, I want a, a shorter loan offer, maybe a year or maybe even six months from January until the end of the season. And then maybe next year he comes to the side and he does a bit better. But we will we'll play it by ear for now. But I just, I just wanted to show you guys that he is possibly going out on loan in the January window. That will, one, improve his overall, get him the game time that he needs and requires to obviously develop. And I think it's a good move for the youngster going forward. Anyways, let's see what games we have to play. Oh my goodness me. Four games in this episode, and the fourth one is absolutely insane. Borussia Dortmund's away from home. Oh my god. The Derby! The Riverside Derby! I think it's the Riverside Derby. I might be mistaken with that, but oh my goodness me! That's going to be an absolute cracker. But we have three league games before then. Paderborn, of course, you've got the likes of um, Klautener or Klautern or whoever. And then we have this team right here. I'm not going to try and pronounce their name. It's crazy. Um, Braunschweiger, I think that's how you pronounce their name. And then it's a massive, massive cup tie versus this team right here. Borussia Dortmund, they are massive. They are huge. They have got massive quality in their team. I'm kind of scared, but this is exactly what I want. A massive game like this. Anyways, we've got some games. Let's hop on straight into the episode. So basically, I want us to be on firing on all cylinders before that huge cup tie versus Dortmund. So I'll be assessing the players, how well they play. And the players that play well will definitely 1006% be playing in that um, massive derby. So yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be like a cup final, basically. I think we're only in like the third or the fourth round, but it's going to be like a cup final. That's how I'm treating it. It matters more to us. Okay. Drexler, little ball roll inside. Takes a shot off. Oh my goodness, and he's tested the opposition goalkeeper just like that. Fantastic. Obviously, Drexler and Odrigaro do start off this game. Odebear and um, Shodanov were slightly under the, the weather when it comes to the stamina, which is fine. I kind of expected that, the way that the last episode did end. Bang! Oh! But yes, so yeah, we've made those two changes to the lineup, but otherwise, it's more or less full strength. Great block in there. Oh my. Cutting through us like a hot knife through butter. That's appalling. Borussia Dortmund are going to run, run straight through us if we play like this. That's unacceptable. And they're through here yet again. Oh my god. This man's pace is unreal. Takes a shot off and it's a great save. Thank you so, so much. And he's getting booked. I don't know why he's getting booked, but okay. What did he do? Oh, well, that's 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 appalling. Anyways, they've got a corner kick here. 24 minutes in, 1-0 down. Thank you very much, Shelga, you absolute idiots. No, my God! Paderborn, 2-0 up inside the first 25 or so minutes, and we are at home. Battered. Battered, battered, battered. From the 1st to the 25th, and they are, they, they've got, they've got their just reward. 2-0 up, we've been very slow, very lackadaisical on the ball. We, we haven't been good. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it's not looking great, bruv. It's not looking good. Work it down this right channel. There we go, we've beaten our man. We cut it. Back and Mora just gets it out of his feet and he's put us down by a single goal now. It's 2-1, still in favor of Paderborn, but Mora pops up with a goal. A great lung-busting run from Brunner down that right flank, squares it nicely into the striker, supplies him with the, the food on a, on a platinum platter, and uh, of course he's going to eat all day long. I thought maybe getting the ball out of his feet was going to be an issue, maybe the keeper gets there, but just in time, just in time. Okay, focus boys. Well, I'll take that every day of the week. Mo has put in a great ball in for Seiko Mara, who is tired, but he's got something to do before he goes off, and that is score his second on the day. We are going to keep on just a little bit longer, 
but he's got two on the day, which is fan damn has to grow back in this game. Mara, yet again. Oh, he's put the man on his backside. But he, does he have the pace? Does he have the pace? Squares it. Oh, Dragaro. Oh my God, please, Drexler. You can't miss that one. You can't miss that one. And it's 3-2 to the good. Schalke up by a goal. And uh, the last time Drexler had an easy chance like that, he, he kind of put it wide, believe it or not. And um, yeah, we're going to make the changes now. 61 minutes gone by. Mara, you have been superb, mate. Absolutely amazing. Schallenberg is going to come on for Drexler. Obviously, we're going to drop Seguin into that role and Schallenberg slightly further down. That's fine with me. Soppy's also going to come on for Brunner, who looks a bit tired. Um, Odrigar is going to continue to play. That's fine with me. And I'm thinking now, Baumgartel can come on for um, Bogard. Perfect. Make sure it's hard. That's what she said. Anyways, we move. Karim in this time. Oh, into Odrigaro. He's got, he's got some speed on him. He's got some speed on him. Squares it. Bang! B oh, thank you. It's going to go down as an own goal, isn't it? But Seguin, I think he's going to be accredited for the goal. I'm not sure. I don't care. 4-2 up. Thank you. After the, those first 25 minutes, people, you don't understand. I was thinking, oh my god. Dortmund are going to actually destroy us at the end of this month. But we somehow managed to pull ourselves right. Show why we are the, the best team in the Bundesliga second division. Why, why did Seguin celebrate the goal it's clearly going in Karaman with the goal but they've they've given it as an own goal that's so weird great save great save keeper that's my number one uh Shodanov is going to come on for Odrigaro for the last you know few moments of the game we might be able to score a fifth here you know if we can win the ball back just run up the field and take a long shot we should be able to do it very effectively. Great defensive header from Soppy into the possession of Moha. You know what, Soppy? Because you won the ball back. Oh, no. I tried to be too cute with it. I was trying to be too cute with it. I was trying to give Soppy his first goal for the club. That's that. That's appalling. That's appalling. Oh, my God. And what could have been 5-2 has now turned into 4-3 in still our favor. But Paderborn have got a third now. Just because I was being too cute with it. I should have just taken the shot with Moha. Won the game. And now it's squeaky bum time. Well, you know what? We we kicked off. We got the win. That's all that matters at the end of the day. But in, in all honesty, we need to improve over the next two games. For that crucial, crucial tie versus Dortmund. Okay, so just in between games here. They've come back and they, they've accepted the idea of loaning him for a short amount of time. So basically from January to the end of the season. Which is perfect. And exactly what I want. Hopefully he can accept the deal and go out on loan for his first, you know, real game time as a professional. A senior professional as well. 17 years of age, I think it's perfect for him to grow and develop as a human and as a player. Okay, it's press conference time. You know what that means. They're going to give us some good questions and we need to improve the morale of the side. Um, they're asking and questioning if our squad is deep enough to maintain this run of form and potentially, you know, get the automatic promotion spot. I do think it is. I think we've we've brought in five really good quality players that can grow with the team as a whole that will obviously improve the squad for the future and whether that's selling them on for massive fees and reinvesting it or just being here for the long term trying to help this club succeed i see this as a as a massive positive and um yeah i think the overall the squad depth is fine we might have to address some stuff in the the january window but that's okay obviously we're also using some young players which is also fantastic but um yeah, we've got a very big game now, and we do need to focus on that. We are away from home in the sexy away kit. I love this kit. I honestly do. Um, I love the, the baby blue with the whites. It just it works so well. It does. I do wish that we had the third kit, though. I don't know. I don't know what the rule is with, with FC, why, um, or FIFA in general. Why, in, when you make it to the second division, or if you get relegated, they just eliminate your kits. <laughs> you don't get the full third kits, or the full three kits, or whatever. Oda Bear, wide channel run. You love to see it. Oh, he takes on the first man. Little ball roll for the second. Mara almost stealing the ball off of him into Shodanov. And we've put the ball in the back of the net. You love the combination play of the front three. Whether it's Shodanov into Mara, into Oda Bear, vice versa, it doesn't matter. The, the fluidity of that front line is generally why we have so much success 
uh, so early on in this career mode because their ability to move into the wide spaces, open up the channels for the on runners, just opening up space for the striker at times, it's absolutely phenomenal. But Sherlinov adding his touch on the game with a fantastic, well taken strike on goal. Great little touch into Mara. Mara with a little death flick on. Oda Bear, he's carried on his run. Beautiful. Well timed. Well placed. Yes, again, it's 2 0 to the good. Schalke are up. Thank you. Oh my god, Odebe, he's he's actually coming into it now. He's knowing when to make those runs, he's knowing to continue those runs, and the boys are looking absolutely, well, incredible at this moment in time. Building up very nicely for what could be uh, uh, the, the cup tie of all cup ties. Borussia Dortmund versus Schalke 04. It, it's going to be amazing, it's going to be fantastic. And um, again, what a strike. Beautiful. We are going to make some changes right here, right now. Odebe has been brilliant, but he is going to come out. Um, Maha, Maha? Uh, Mara is also coming out for Karaman, as well as Cholinov coming off for Drexler. Basically, the standard changes. Um, Soppy will come on for Brunner. Again, kind of standard changes. And then Schellenberg is going to come on for Oian. And then Moha is going to go out to that wide left channel. And Drex is going to take the armband. Uh, very forward changes, but you know, it needs to happen. We need to keep the boys fresh and ready. And I'm hoping that these subs are looking to impress me for that massive tie versus Dortmund. Okay, they've got a corner kick out. Our subs have just come on the field. Not the best time to make changes, I will say that. Can we win the flick on? Yes, we can. Soppy this time does so with great effect. And it's a block shot. Why am I trying to pass back? I don't know why my brain is making me do that. Uh, no, no, no. Thank you very much, Keeps. Thank you very much, Keeps. Oh my god, my heart. Okay, they've got another corner kick. Whip it to the near post. Right here to Soppy. There we go. And we've won it. Caraman this time takes a good touch under control. Moha, he's made that run. Down the middle. Of course, playing as a, a left wing back at this moment in time. Oh, I was trying to get it around and then to Caraman. Oh my gosh. Into Odrigaro. Come on. Okay, well, that's going to be full time. 2 0 winners. Uh, early doors, it was very back and forth, but then, you know, we settled into the game. We got the win. We scored the goals. We could have scored more. We should have scored more, but we just couldn't find the back of the nets after the 36th minute. So it is what it is. I'll take the three points on board onto the next game. Okay, so for our final league game, I am going to make a few changes. I wanted to try and see Caraman from the start. Um, Ojogara as well has a, a shout to potentially get in. Um, Warm Gartle, I am going to play him because he is seeming slightly unhappy. I don't know why Atabulu is unhappy either, but I, I guess it is what it is. Um, Brunner is going to come out for Soppy, and we also are going to rest Mara. Now, I am more or less set on Mara playing in the, the massive game versus Dortmund up next, but I, I do want to maybe see what Karaman can do and maybe even Nasame. Um, who knows, we might go with like completely altered uh, changes and instructions, who knows. You might have to work up something special. But this will be the team for this massive game, um, and hopefully, just hopefully, we can come through it with a full three points, and that would make it nine from nine in terms of the points, and um, just continue our run at the top of the Bundesliga 2 table. Oh, a little reverse pass into Soppy. Soppy's chipped it into the back post area, into the midfield, back into Karaman, slot tackled away, whipped away, high and wide. Can we win it back? Yes, we can. Odrigaro this time, under control, calm as you like, the young German player. Bang. Hello, look at all this space. Seguin takes a touch. Oh, that's a great, that's a great strike. That is a fantastic strike. Highest team in the league for scoring goals is us versus the lowest. So I do expect us to win. I'm not going to lie to you. I really do expect us to win. But um, we do need to be like on our game here. Because, again, it's a banana skin type game. Okay, we're going to put this one in. Four and a half bars of power. Karaman, great save. How? That's a lovely ball. That's a lovely ball. Oh, my God, bro. How? This team is scoring goals. Like, even though we're, we're the number one team in, in the Bundesliga 2 when it comes to scoring goals... We waste so many chances. We could easily have a whole lot more. A whole lot more. Soppy, he's made a good run on the outside. A little flicked in effort there. Love to see it. Good turn. Great 
strong turn as well into Karaman. Karaman this time, and that it's taken 63 minutes to score our first goal. Karaman eventually with the bag, with the goods, with everything you need to win the goddamn game. Obviously, we had that Moho shot in the first half, but it, it's been it's been dire. It's been diabolical what we've been doing here. Great assist from Soppy. Um, should we make some changes? I'm going to I'm going to leave it for now. I am going to leave it for now. Well done. Ojigara, he is very dead right now. But he's he's got the pace. Please. Got the Oh my days. Looking like Prime Anthony right now with your weak foot efforts. Um yeah, we're, we're going to make some changes. We're going to make some changes. I'm going to have to like alter the the training instructions a little bit here. Just so that we we can have a semi full stamina team. Because that, that would be quite embarrassing if we show up to Borussia Dortmund with a half-cooked team and they run straight through us like a, a hot knife through butter. Um, yeah, Oian's going to come out. That's fine. Moho, perfect. Okay, yeah, those are going to be our five changes for the game. Oh, my days. Ref, you better book this man. Give him a red. He deserves it. I'm telling you now, he deserves it. That, that's a bookable offense. We're in on goal. Probably not going to score. But there you have it. Get off the goddamn field, mate, you absolute disgrace, Kraus. Okay. Now, who is here to take this? Mo is here to take this. 70 free kick accuracy. Lovely. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And hopefully it sails into the back of the nets. Okay, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Oda Bear plays a beautiful ball into Lasame, who decides to not run. But anyways, it doesn't matter. 1-0 win. I'll take it. It was a very one-sided 1-0 win. It's not what the scoreline would describe of the, the game as a whole. We were very much the better side. Again, but just the finishing is what really has let us down. But anyways, I've seen what I need to see. I think I know the team that we will be picking for the massive tie versus Borussia Dortmund up next. Okay, it's press conference time. A massive, massive game versus our... Well... City rivals, I think. I think they're within the same vicinities, you would say. But anyways, it's, it's a huge game. Massive game in German football right here, right now. The magic of the cup. Could it be our day to go through versus the, the better side? Obviously, Borussia Dortmund at this moment in time are better than Schalke. Can we get the win? I'm hoping so. Every win counts. Every win matters. It's all about building for the future. And even if we lose... As long as we can hold our heads up high once that final whistle goes, I'll be happy with the boys. We can lose 4-0, but put in a really good shift, work really hard, just be very unlucky in front of goal, and they score four goals off of four shots. I don't mind. We can lose like that, that's fine. It'll, it'll be a bit heartbreaking, but as long as I see the boys putting in a shift, that's all that matters. That's what the fans want to see, that's what I want to see, and that's what I think we are going to see. But anyways, let's see what happens. Okay, so, Borussia Dortmund in their last five games, two wins... A loss and a draw. I don't know why they haven't played their fifth game, but anyways. They are going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 wide. Sancho, Brandt, Marlin, Pace Merchants, apart from Sancho. Well, mainly it's Marlin as a Pace Merchant. They've, they've signed Reese James. They've got Ben Sabani, Nico Schlotterback, Sula, Kubel. And of course, they've got Fulcroch up front. Also very good. And on the bench, just to, you know, add salt to, to the wounds, they've got Hummels, Royce, Halle. Um, Sabitzer, Adeyemi, Ryerson, and of course, Maya. Their um, tactical vision of choice is going to be set to Gagin pressing, and the three players I need to look out for is Emre Chan in the defensive areas, Marlon and Brandt. I'm kind of scared, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we've got a fully fit 11. Of course, Shodanov is slightly under the weather. We are going to start um, Bogard in the center of the back three. Um, but yes, I don't want to change this lineup. I, I really don't. Some some people have been saying, when is Marius Muller going to get a chance? Well, for a game like this, it's all about the future. And Atabulu is our future goalkeeper. So he needs to see what it's all about when going to Signal Iduna Park, when playing against Borussia Dortmunds. Just like with the likes of Odebe, Mara, all the players for the, the, the next three, four, five seasons, they need to see what it's all about because... Season in, season out, they're going to be playing there at least once or maybe even twice a season. So, well, we got to, we got to, you know, bed in the youngsters. Okay, they're kicking things off. We need to remain compact at the back, defensively sound. And um, when we do have the opportunities to get forward, we need to make sure we capitalize on them. But right here, right now, Marlon just bypassing our entire back line in midfield with so much pace in him. 
Great, great, great from Matriciani. Also, one thing I will say, this game will definitely prove to me who's up for it and who's not. Who's going to have a, a long-term future and who's not. Oh my god, full crock in the 8th minute, first shot on goal, bypasses our whole team. And um, yeah, he puts it in the back of the net. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, well done, we've won it back there. Good ball in tomorrow. Nico shots are back on him. I want the free kick ref. I want the free kick ref. Oh, we've got a free kick. Okay. Just up and over the wall. Please. Please, please, please. Up and over the wall. Now. I'm going to go three bars of power. Oh, that might be too much. Whoa. Oh, my God. It's forced a cracking save from Kubel. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Well, we've got our first attempt on goal. Whoa. Oda Bear. Oh, no. We've got our second attempt on goal. No, no. Emery Chan attacking forward. How has Matriciani not covered the space there? <laughs> 32 minutes gone. They've scored another. It's 2 0 to them. We've had two really good chances the free kick and, of course, the Oda Bear smothered shot. Matriciani, I don't know why you're going so far wide, and it's one pass, simple as can be, and it's just fine into the back of the net. That is unacceptable defending, boys. Oh, runner, he's made a great run. Beats the first, beats the second. Come on, 2-1. Let's go. 43 minutes gone by, and Moher fires it into an open net. We've got a lifeline in the game. That's all I wanted. That's all I needed. Great run from Brunner, fantastic. Taking on men, beating them left, right, and center. Goalkeeper makes a mess of it. Morat collides with them, and Moha gets the easy, easy tap. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on. Okay, Nico Schlotterback puts in a, a last ditch tackle. And um, they, they're saying uh, Drexel needs to come on. That's not going to happen just yet. Sugan, please, on the head of someone. On the head of Mara. Oh, they've cleared it. Really nicely, too. Okay. They've got the ball back. They look... I'm sorry, but Fulcroch is not this quick, mate. He's not that quick. He is like a, a goddamn tank running down a treadmill. God, I hate his face. Just want to mash his face in with his missing tooth and everything. Um, Yeah, Shonanov has been god-awful. You know what? Actually, let's play Karim in there. I want to see what Karim's all about as a an extra striker slash attacking midfielder. Brunner's going to come out for Soppy, but those are the only changes I'm prepared to make right here, right now. Straight in behind, Jaden Squancho, you bastard. Oh, he's got a, he's got a hat trick. I hate this man. Three shots, three goals. The scoreline does not give a fair reflection of this game. It really doesn't. Okay, well, 70 minutes gone. 4-1 down. Karaman doing his best here. Fighting. Clawing. Scrapping. Squares it. Mar is there. 4-2. I'll take that. I'll take that. Karaman as a... As a number 10, though. That That's a... That's an option. That is an option. I... To be honest, as a striker, I don't really like him there. I like uh, Mara there more. So maybe we'll think about converting Karaman into a, a, a cam. I know it shouldn't take too long. It takes like two or four weeks. Um, but he, he seems more of a supplier than a, a natural goal scorer. Just how I, I see him and how he plays and feels. So yeah, maybe that's the, the case. How have we tackled Sancho and we've... Oh, Jesus. I hate this dude! You're an absolute waste, man! 5-2, oh my god, put to the sword. We haven't even played that badly. It's just somehow, some way, we've managed to get fiss up by, by, by Erling Haaland reincarnated into some ugly pig of a man. Jesus. Okay, well, there you have it, full time absolutely fists up in this game destroyed from the eighth minutes through to the 90th 
We played well in certain moments, but this in itself, four attempts, four goals. And they, they were... Oh, it's so annoying. God damn it. Four goals against our team. We need to do better, but obviously the quality is not really there. Okay, so we are going to end off the episode right here, right now. Smash a like, please, because I just got my whole ass handed, handed to me in, in that game versus Borussia Dortmund. So, you know, I need the support. Show me some love. Comment down below if you enjoyed the episode. Like the video. Subscribe if you are new. And of course, until the next time, I hope you have a damn great day. I'm out.